Take any free seats and call to A and B. A and B, lovely. So we at the end of our all the stations adventure. <laughs> uh -huh. We're going home via Dublin. Yes, we're getting the boat. At our own expense, though, we thought we'd get the Enterprise train down from Belfast to Dublin and just make a little quickie. What's it like to travel end to end on the Enterprise? Make it so, Jeff. I was going to say that. <laughs> It's really fast. Okay. These are nice. Yeah, that's nice, man. Are you having breakfast? I am having breakfast. What? You can have the Enterprise full breakfast, which just materialises on your table. <laughs> you can have a vegetarian breakfast. Does that also materialise? No, just the Enterprise one. No, otherwise I think it's just regular. Um, you can get breakfast bagel, scrambled egg and bacon, scrambled egg and smoked salmon, mine, um, with tea or coffee. I didn't even touch it. The seat's a huge look. It's gonna recline. Was that complimentary? The next stop is Portadown. I think the drinks are complimentary, <clears throat> but you have to pay for the for the breakfast, which is fine. And we've left on time at 11:05. It's a two-hour, ten-minute journey time to Dublin, but I'm going to check the timetable. The stopping pattern at the weekends is slightly different to the weekday, I think. We've both got our laptops in, <clears throat> plugs, Wi-Fi, all working. I was going to note, on the outside of the train, it just says Enterprise. <laughs> May the force be with... Oh no, that's a... Wrong, wrong franchise. Wrong franchise. Um, but what we know is that it's jointly run between uh, Translink Northern Ireland and Irish Rail. But neither of their logos appears on the outside of the train, but up there there's a sign about alcohol consumption on board. And so signs and branding inside does feature both their logos, but not on the outside of the train. I just thought that was interesting. Pulling into Portadown. Was that the one going in the opposite direction? It was the one going in the opposite direction. Is your breakfast good yet? Not yet. I'm hungry. And it does so in about two hours, well, exactly two hours, ten minutes. But the first one, 7 a.m. on a Sunday, going from Belfast to Dublin, additionally stops at Lisbon. Just looking up the timetable there. So they do make a couple of extra stops. You're making the good point because it's a shared service, both Translink and Irish Rail have a page and timetable for it on their yeah. on their website. So there's not one website for it. You can look on either company's website. It's a shared service. In case it wasn't clear, the service is shared. I don't I don't know why the camera's doing that. I'm too on the camera. I don't know why. I've gone sideways. <laughs> I don't know why I've done that. Thank you. I asked for a second cup of tea, and for a moment, oh, there's a bit of. So I, uh, I thought you would have to pay, and then it turned. And then she came along. She said, "No, all hot drinks are complimentary." So I was like, "Thanks very much." Um, yeah, free tea and coffee. <laughs> it's worth it for that, right? Right? But can you want to give us the history of the uh, of the line? Sure. 
brief history of the Enterprise train. Great Northern Railway Island started the Enterprise service in the 1940s and it's always been known as the Enterprise and I don't think that can be said for any other line um, in Ireland or Northern Ireland or even in England, Wales and Scotland. So it's the service that has retained its name for the longest time. Um, in the 50s they tried to extend it down to Cork but, but it wasn't very successful. Um, it took about six and a half hours to do the full length journey but it wasn't successful and they stopped it not long afterwards. They, um, that's about it. Anything else Jeff? It's comfy right? It's really comfy. The seats are huge. I'm just going to recline. It's really good. I love it. Arriving into Dublin Connolly now. It's uh, bang on time. It's just uh, gone after 10 past one. So two hours 10 is happening. There's an old green dart train. Um, yeah, here comes Connolly. We got here at warp speed. Oh, that's very good. Bang on time, actually. Yeah. Exactly two hours, 10 minutes to Connolly. Perfect. Um, if you do buy a ticket, mm -hmm. uh, up to three days in advance, you can buy a web fare, which is a lot cheaper than if you buy a, a walk-up fare, what we did, look at the website in advance. Yes. It's really cheap fares. It's a good train. Two hours, ten minutes. Nice. Should we look at the yeah. information pack on the way out? Sure. And then, and then we'll wave goodbye to Connolly Station. And also, farewell to Dublin. Uh,